Hello and welcome to the France 24 interview. My guest today is the Foreign Minister of Turkey, Mevlut Cavusoglu. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Mr. Minister, you were uh, with your president in Iran. One of the main topics of discussion was obviously the referendum held in the Kurdish region of Iraq recently, a referendum on independence that you've opposed, staunchly uh, opposed. We've heard that there would be some kind of retaliation uh, what exactly will happen? Uh, we've heard President Erdogan saying the airspace, the border with that region would be closed soon. What is going to happen? Thank you very much. Of course, uh, the referendum uh, in, uh, in Iraq, uh, Kurdish region, uh, was one of the issues that we discussed because uh, Iran and Turkey are uh, neighboring countries. So uh, such uh, development uh, will uh, have impact on us as well. Therefore, uh, we discuss uh, this issue in depth, and obviously uh, we have the same position. Uh, the airspace has been already closed upon the decision of uh, Iran, uh, sorry, Iraq, uh, and therefore there is no flight between Turkey uh, and Erbil or Soleimaniya and three Turkish uh, companies, including Turkish Airlines, were flying to uh, Erbil. Now they are uh, not flying anymore. And with regards to the border, the, these are the border between Turkey and Iraq, not border between Turkey and Kurdish uh, regional authorities. Okay, so we have all this, we signed the agreements in the past with uh, Iraq, therefore, uh, with regards to the border, border control issue, our counterpart is Baghdad. Uh, therefore, the, the request and the decision and action of Baghdad will be the basis uh, for Turkey's decisions and actions as well. The president also said we need more decisive action. I mean, the airspace is one thing, the border is one thing. The key action besides military action, which I believe is not right now on the horizon, would be to shut down the oil pipeline going from the Kurdish region to Turkey. Obviously, this is a lifeline for the Kurdish region, but it's also important for Turkey. Are you ready to shut that pipeline if the Kurdish authorities don't change their mind about independence? Well, uh, first, we have been calling on uh, Kurdish authorities. Barzani administration uh, to uh, change their uh, decision, and which uh, has been a uh, they've refused a big mistake. Uh, and uh, not only Turkey, everybody is calling on them. Uh, actually, uh, but they they refuse to change. They haven't mind. refused yet since the referendum. Uh, they have been quiet, but before the referendum, including France and United States and our allies, everybody call on uh, uh, Kurdish regional government uh, to stop that process or to postpone. But they refuse and they didn't get any support from international community and they don't have that support. So in this case, uh, such decision actually was a grave mistake. And uh, I believe that it will not bring any further right to Kurdish uh, brothers and sisters there. And this is actually what I explained him uh, in a very friendly manner when I was in Erbil. And he is risking uh, actually the future of the Kurds in Iraq. And uh, it will have a lot of negative impact But uh, will for you, the region. But are you ready to close that pipeline? Well, this, yes is, or no? this, is, this is if the request comes from Baghdad, we will uh, seriously uh, consider that. But you, it's I a sovereign decision. Have, you could decide, we are not happy, so we are shutting down this life. I told you at the beginning, our counterpart is Baghdad, Iraq, and their, the request coming from Baghdad, and their decisions and the actions will be a basis or criteria you would for agree. our own action. We have already taken some uh, decisions and actions and Ministerial Council, the Parliament, and the National Security Council. So uh, we have been repeating that uh, our counterpart is Baghdad. So decisions and the requests coming from Baghdad 
will be a kind of criteria for our own decision and uh, action. Uh, I've heard, and including in Iran, uh, President Erdogan uh, talk about this referendum as a plot by the Israeli intelligence service, the Mossad, saying this was, at the same time, you're uh, trying to restore uh, diplomatic relations with Israel. I mean, does he really think, do you really think that Israel engineered this referendum? Well, uh, the whole world call on uh, the authorities to cancel or to suspend or to postpone the referendum. He didn't. And the support came only from uh, Israel, from Netanyahu and few other political figures. But after the referendum, we haven't seen that. But the photos uh, have been circulated that uh, Barzani and Mossad agents have been working there. So uh, this, uh, it has been covered everywhere. Therefore, uh, not only in Turkey, but uh, internationally. Therefore, there is an impression that uh, they supported this referendum. It's not only so, supporting, they, that they engineered it, that they were well, the reason. Well, you really yeah, think that? Well, this is the impression that we got. But how can you continue talking to Israel if that's the case? Why we shouldn't talk to Israel? We, we, you don't have to uh, uh, agree with every country on everything. Okay? And disagreeing on this doesn't mean that you should actually suspend all the bilateral issues. So that's not We just normalize. Happen. Of course, we criticize Israel when they make mistakes. This is for sure, or vice versa. But uh, when you disagree, each time you cannot actually uh, cut all your uh, so that's ties. that's not going to this happen. Is, yeah, this is another issue. I, I want mean. to get to... And this is not only Turkey's matter. I mean, this referendum is... I mean, very sensitive issue for us, but it is not only the matter of Turkey, it is a matter of uh, the region, those countries, neighboring countries, and the entire world and the international community. I went uh, to get... So, uh, does it mean that in, 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 in entire international community should cut the ties with Israel? I want to get uh, to the uh, US. Uh, there have been tensions over a variety of things. There's tension after the arrest of a local employee of the US consulate in Istanbul who was accused of uh, spying, of trying to overthrow uh, the <coughs> state. The US mission in Turkey said, I'm quoting, the allegations are wholly without merit. What's your reaction? Well, working here or there, uh, don't give uh, immunity to anybody, okay? Uh, anybody, if anybody commits any kind of crime, subject to investigation and the legal judicial process. This is for sure. In Turkey, nobody can be detained or arrested or prisoned without any serious uh, accusation and without any serious uh, preliminary finding or the evidences and at the end, it is up to the independent judiciary to give the judgment. Not up to politicians, not up to me, and not up to State Department. So you're saying this case is so, serious and not yeah, there fabricated? Are, there, are, there are serious accusations and the evidences. Since he is working uh, for a diplomatic mission, I was also informed and I asked uh, actually, the authorities, I mean, judiciary and uh, the authorities in Istanbul, they told me that there are serious findings and the evidences. Therefore, in this case, it doesn't matter where he or she works. But when the U.S. says it's without merit, it's a little bit so like all the people who've been arrested in, and the West in, says it's without merit. Well, this is nonsense, I have to say. I mean, when it, is, when it happens in those countries, independence judiciary. We have also independent judiciary. And uh, nobody can intervene uh, here. And uh, in Turkey, n no cases, no judicial cases are politically motivated, okay? So nobody asks anybody. Who, we, don't, we didn't know the, who that person was. I mean, working for a mission uh, is not a, a kind of crime in, in Turkey. Don't but uh, if anybody is involved in uh, any kind of crime, or involved of any illegal activities subject to investigation and the judicial process. And this is what everybody must understand. So uh, do you think that this will maybe complicate further your efforts, your calls uh, for the U.S. to extradite uh, Fethullah Gulen, the exiled cleric, who 
is accused by the regime of being behind sh the coup. It shouldn't. This but kind, this is not we making face, any progress, no, is we, it? No, we can, we, we can face this kind of situation anywhere in any country, okay? And in uh, Europe also, there are Turkish citizens arrested, detained, imprisoned. So we have the uh, bilateral agreements, uh, cooperation agreements. We have been working with many countries like that. And we have also uh, agree bilateral agreements with United States, including the extradition of uh, such persons. And we have already transmitted all the evidences that Gülen himself and uh, his cult uh, is behind the attempted coup in Turkey. Therefore, we ask uh, our counterparts in the United States uh, to start the investigation, in-depth investigation there, and also to extradite him to Turkey uh, in, in the line of all this evidence. I mean, so far, it didn't happen, and this is one of the actually issue uh, in uh, between uh, in our relations, I can say. So you're upset that you see no progress on of this? Of course, we are disappointed, and it has been affecting the emotions of uh, Turkish people. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, you. Mevlüt Çavuşoglu. Thank you for watching this edition of the interview here on France 24.